What do you think is going to happen with him with Spotify? Oh, Spotify won't won't remove Rogan. You don't think so? Yeah. Dropped from sixty billion dollar valuation to thirty six. That's twenty four billion. You think the board is sitting there? They're diehard Joe Rogan fans, or do you think they're profit margin, top line revenue fans? Oh, I hope that I would rather that they were the latter, the profit okay. margin types, because that's what a corporation should do, and I'd trust them more if they were doing that. I'm with you, but I also yeah. think that if they have any sense, and I know how this is going to turn out, it's it's turned out in my life like 50 times this way. Yeah. The heat goes on, the pressure's on. You're in the desert. It's unpleasant. You wait it out. You wait it out. You wait it out. If you haven't done anything wrong, you wait it out. You don't apologize. You don't back down. You wait, and things viciously turn in your favor. Now, waiting it out while you're roasting, that's not pleasant. And if the Spotify yeah. types have any sense, they think, yeah, well, that's a drop. But, you know, it's part of the death throes of the legacy media. And once all the dust settles, CNN will have half the viewers they have now, and Joe Rogan will have twice the viewers, and we'll be doing just fine. He's been doing it for five years, and hes it's not like he hasn't faced pressure before. It's clear to me that he's... I just can't see any scenario short of his assassination that ends up in Rogan not having 20 million viewers an episode in a year. And so, as long as he's careful, like he is, I don't think Rogan can be cancelled. So even if Spotify dumps him, it's like, who's dumping who here? Rogan, he's on Spotify. It's not necessarily. Spotify might be on Rogan. It's not so clear. <laughs> And so, what what's going to happen? They kick him off? Well, he'll just have another platform like tomorrow. It's very often that people who are trying to hide something justify that to themselves with a kind of totalitarian certainty about their beliefs. They double down on them to hide their own moral iniquities. And so you have to believe that people like Rogan shouldn't be allowed to just have a discussion with whoever they want and wing it. And do you think that because you think you already know? And, you know, if your life is perfect and you're already living in the kingdom of God, and then more power to you, you know, maybe you're right and you can shut down free discourse because the heavenly heights have already been scaled. But I haven't met anyone like that yet. Most people I know think with not too much thought that there's some things they still have to learn and some ways their lives could be improved. And how are we going to approach that? Especially, you want to find out how you're wrong. You should talk to people who don't agree with you. Now, maybe 90% of what they say is not worth attending to. Could easily be. Probably the same goes for you. But 10% might be just what saves you in the next crisis. Keep at it, guys. Every time you attack him, a million more subscribers for Joe. They kick him off Spotify. He would have a new platform like in two days with twice as many listeners. And so Joe's got to the point where as long as he continues to be careful, and he is being, there, I don't think he can be cancelled. In fact, I think all the attempts to cancel him only redound to his credit and increase the rapidity with which he's destroying the entire legacy media.